So how many of you remember these from Star Trek? <laughs> well, someone has now added them to Fallout 4. This mod is called Type 2 Phaser. And it's made by a... Uh... Wait a minute. Well, I want to say this right off the bat about this mod. Even though the description of this mod is, well, descriptive, it's still nowhere near straight and forward for the people like me that need things spelled out for them. So first things first, how to find it. Unfortunately, you can't craft your own until you find the original. This means you have to venture out into the glowing sea and to locate the Sentinel Sight Prescott. Now the description of this mod says the phaser is found within, near the corpse of a child of Adam. But going throughout the facility, you're going to have to encounter some ghouls along the way, and they shouldn't be that much of a problem if you're pretty well equipped. Now this is just a heads up. This took me two hours to find. This is no exaggeration, I measured it with footage. I actually looked into every nook and cranny. I turned this entire facility upside down just looking for this tiny TV remote. I shit you not. Where this phaser happens to be is stowed away into a little hole in the wall before you hit the tunnels and it'll be right next to a child of Adam like the description said. The only thing is the description is just not as descriptive as it should have been. Nice. Glitches. There are some bugs I have encountered in the mod that aren't in the description of the mod. So here they are right now. First of all, if you go and favorite the weapon, and then go your favorites and then equip it, you will not receive any ammo for it at all. And there's no way to craft ammo for this at, at all. You are supposed to receive ammo as soon as you equip it. So do not equip it like this. The proper way to equip the weapon is this is how I had to fix it. I ended up crafting another one, so I had to drop both of the weapons and then pick them up and then go in my inventory and then equip it. And then immediately afterwards, I had ammo for it and I was able to shoot it. Another bug that I had is that if you are in a high populated area, there's just, just a lot of stuff going on in your, in your game. Um, sometimes the laser doesn't show why you're shooting it. Another bug that I managed to run into, and this is why I recommend only having one of these hand phasers. Uh, I had two in my inventory, and when I was trying to go in my inventory, uh, when you go to aid and then the phaser levels, uh, trying to up the phaser levels while you have two in your inventory will not change the phaser at all. So... This only works if you only have one in your inventory. Combat. As soon as I got a hold of one, I just managed to go out and find other monsters to shoot it with. The lowest level, all it does is does some low level damage, about 10 damage. And then it also stuns whatever you shoot for about 20 seconds. So this is kind of a cool thing to have if you just want to like stun enemies and let your let your companions shoot them while they're on the ground. Now as you go into the levels of between 12 and 13, that's when you start beginning to one-shot things. So this is incredibly useful, especially if you use it with bats, that you can just highlight multiple enemies, um, and as long as you have like the action points to do it since you never have to reload this gun you can just one shot everything that's in your vicinity and one of the cooler parts about this thing is that um around levels 12 to 16 you actually vaporize whatever you one shot on upon a critical hit and the higher the level that you set the hand phaser to the higher chance you have of actually having critical hits and not only does it do increasingly more damage over time, but it also ignores almost all armor. Again, leaving support on this video and also leaving support to the mod author would be highly appreciated because I took a lot of time just trying to figure out everything because, well, I, I went to go look up information for this, for this particular mod. I tried actually cheating my way through this, but I had to figure out everything by myself. So if there is another mod out there that you guys would like to know more about and would like me to go into depth of, leave that in the comments below. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.